Hello everyone, my name is Mason Zero MTG. Today I want to talk about some of my favorite Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. There are so many out there and I definitely don't watch them all. I'll probably miss some great ones here, so feel free to shout out other channels in the comments. I'm also going to avoid some of the big ones because I know you already know about Tolarian Community College and the Mana Source. Today we'll be taking a look at my top 5 smaller channels. The first channel I want to cover is Booster Tutor. I've been watching Booster Tutor, aka Brandon Crane, for quite a while, since he was just at a couple thousand subscribers. It has been awesome seeing him grow up to 14,000. What really drew me to his channel was his random buys. Buying a mostly unknown box of magic cards is a lot of fun, and potentially more rewarding than a booster pack. You never know what could be in someone's collection. Brandon lets us live vicariously through him as he digs through collections both good and bad, and when it comes to opening packs, I love that he does an in-depth pack one pick one analysis for each opening. Next is Life Begins at 20. Channel host Mark mainly talks about Cube and filled the void when Milo the Gathering took a break from Magic. With his experience in video editing, Mark's videos are obviously made by a professional, and that, combined with his great voiceovers, has allowed his Cube content to grow in popularity. I have also really enjoyed talking with him and his other viewers on his Discord server and seeing the community grow, and recently his channel has received a great boon in some sponsorships and additions from Wizards of the Coast. Ristic Studies is the academic side of Magic the Gathering. With some of the most well-produced magic videos out there, Sam's 20 plus minute video essays are a treat to watch. Watching his videos feels like watching a documentary, as his editing and narration is top notch. Sam thinks about magic in a way that few others do, delving deep into the history of cards and the analysis of their art. In the fast-paced YouTube environment we're currently in the midst of, it's very refreshing to see someone take their time and make content that makes you feel like it should be paid for. The next one you may have heard of, and it's The Command Zone. Hosted by Josh Lee Kwai and Jimmy Wong, this podcast has grown immensely in the last couple of years, but has always been a great place for learning about Commander. Whether it's new legendary creatures or specific lessons in politics, these two always have something intelligent to say about the format. In the last year or so, they have been doing game nights, the episodes of which are probably the most impressive magic gameplay videos I've ever seen. The amount of editing that goes into these videos is mind-blowing, literally hundreds of hours. They could have just put a camera above a table and called it good, but the Command Zone wanted to create a true, a true entertaining experience for magic players. It's very reminiscent of Day 9's Spellslinger series, and is both educational and fun, much like that one was. Lastly, we have Forest Bear Studios. I don't remember exactly how I found these guys, but I've been hooked ever since I did. While most of their videos are just regular magic gameplay, I really enjoy what they bring to the table. They play a lot of modern decks, which include powerful ones, as well as just plain fun decks that are a treat to see played. They also delve into other unique formats like Uncommons Only or Mini Magic. The hosts Chubby and Atska are personable and fun and make the gameplay videos engaging. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and if you haven't seen some of these other Magic YouTube channels, I highly suggest them. These are some of the channels that really influenced me to start making my own videos, and I hope to make videos as good as theirs at some point. Let me know what your favorite channels are in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.